Ahoy everyone, ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... Yes, a mighty Lieutenant Rakir, it's your service. <clears throat> and welcome back to Dave the Diver for the 18th time. 
Uh, yeah, we really thought this game was going to be a short thing, huh? And here we are at, uh, yeah, 34 hours in, about. Yeah, I feel like... Wait, did I think I actually did uh, look up on a page to say uh, that uh, they told us how long it was. But I feel like they may have been heavily misinformed. Yeah. Okay, we've got another episode of Challenge the Chef, or rather, more Get Your Ass Kicked by Boncho's cooking skills. That's going to happen today. We have the Cucumber Fest tomorrow. Oh, and yeah, we learned that the the one behind the challenge to chef stuff is the old bitch that got uh, uh, that cost uh, Pambanjo his previous job. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have one more for for them. So yeah, that explains why each uh, each time the theme has been heavily in the favor of the challenger, and yet Banjo has kicked their asses each and every time. So, today is going to be no different. Yep. What do you think? Need rights? Okay, bunch of eggs. And yeah, I believe the, this is now at its maximum size. Or it is going to be at its maximum size. Apparently he does need to work more on it. Let's see. Now, can we buy... Okay, we can expand... We could expand the other one, and yeah, he's still busy with it. Okay, so he won't do those at the same time. And let's see. Let's... Oh, we can only buy three of each. Okay, probably should have been buying those more then. Um... Yeah, seeing how much we typically get from a recipe, I'd say it's probably worth it to buy some of these. Like the eggs? Uh, the eggs, I think we have plenty at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, 20. Still... Yeah, how many great A eggs do we have? Three. Hmm. But I... I don't know how many recipes with those we have. We have the Klaus omelets. But I don't know what else. Hmm, one cake and... Okay. But yeah, I'm not sure if she owns the program. Uh, I do think she take advantage of the program to get revenge. Yeah, she she owns the uh, the broadcasting company or the, the company behind the broadcast and such. What? I thought she owned the restaurant chain. No. Uh, no. We no, have she, to check back. She something. owns a restaurant chain. Hmm. I don't think she owns the broadcast. Yeah, she has something to do with the <laughs> with the company behind it, but. It's not. It's not that she owns restaurant a restaurant chain. She used to criticize restaurant chains. Her family owns a restaurant chain. Hmm. Okay, I, I checked on these earlier uh, because I made a list of all the fish that we don't have breeding pairs of, which is why there's no exclamation points above these, since well, going to here doesn't pass time. And we have for most of these. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fish. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's been a there has been a hot fix, not a patch, but a hot fix. Uh, actually, actually I think it was yeah, it was today, otherwise it would have been so it would have shown up yesterday. Uh, a hot fix to fix some well issues. Not that we've run into too many. But yeah, no big patches to add on little things like seeing how much of these we have already at the the restaurant or not. So for now, let's just continue with selling the ones that we know we have a lot of. And sell a bunch of those that we don't have a bunch of. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, th this made me so surprised that I, I think you heard me with my mouth full. <laughs> God, so oh, many fish. Did I just mess up with something because a warning popped up there that I accidentally clicked away immediately? Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, 
I need to check the footage for what that warning was then. But it's not something that we need. Hmm. Or, oh, was it warning that I was selling too many or something? Or did, I, did I accidentally sell the breeding pairs or something? In that case, oops. Yeah, but if, if that is the case, then it's already done because the game will save when we try to exit. Unless I, well, unless I force quit the game, but I don't want to risk that for, well, risk of damaging the, f the save data. Yeah, hopefully you did you... Hopefully you only saw something of a minor fish that's easy to get, and not a rare one. Yeah, I don't think it was rare. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go with that they breed among their own star rank, so it's useless to keep one... Or at least if they if two of the if if a two star fish and a three star fish you know, can breed, I'm guessing it'll just make more two ones. So it's a bit useless to keep yeah just an uneven amount or just keep any of those. Uh, let's see sheep heads. Probably should have kept yeah uh, yeah. Uh, let's see combers which are new to us. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so two and three star can you know, interact like that. So that is confirmed right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. I, like, I think I'll actually keep eight of these at the moment for <laughs> to just have a bunch of them breeding. Now I remember. Now I remember. Hmm? Her family owns a big restaurant chain. Who is it only or sponsoring the program? Could be that. I could also try and look up uh, the, the wiki or such. Though the, the wiki for this game is rather incomplete. But it, it, this game is not old exactly. True, it's just... A, it's just a year old, maybe even less, technically. Less, less, unless we count in demo time. Damn. Actually, I think when we started this, it was really recently released. Now, I don't think we're busy with it for that long. We started it in this year, and it was released in 2022. Okay, oh. in this one, we're only missing a breeding pair of the Pelican Eel. Uh, let's see. you. Okay, then I'm confused. Then how? Why did it take, take it for so long to get noticed? Then. Yeah, the same way with uh, Among Us and such. Sometimes it just. Sometimes something will just go under the radar and just pop up some other time. Okay. Now then. That'll be about it for here. Anything we can upgrade with this? Just short with the salvage drone. I would want to make that three times. Is there anything I, I else at the moment that we need a lot of money for? I can imagine uh, streamers and YouTubers have it, its, its popularity explode. Probably. Like, I think that the first I saw of this game was actually... Uh, it was either in the Steam queue, or it was uh, on Twitch that I saw people playing it. Not that I watched their streams, but that I saw the, the title pop up. Okay. Extra cargo box. These are really not, not really needed anymore, since we can already carry like 10 times as much. So let's go for that and that. And let's see. There's not really much more that we can do with about the cucumbers. We've got the VIP thing ready for tonight. So the only real deals we have or goals to aim for are check the control room entrance here, get some spider crabs, hunt it, hunt some cookie cutter crab yep, cookie cutter crabs, no cookie cutter there are sharks. Uh, let's see. I'm very doubtful that whatever we do to 
at the control room entrance would be with a lot of combat. So I'm going to swap this out for a net gun. Now, I also read on the wiki uh, because I wanted to check if we can breed crabs. It doesn't look like it, but apparently you can catch the crabs in the upgraded version of this gun. So with the round one. With the steel net gun. Hmm. Okay. But other than, for the most part, we're going to also look for parts for this. So we need a bunch of topaz and an opal tube. We should be able to afford that. Opal is going to be a more of a nuisance to get, or more of a minor grind more. Uh, let's see. So let's pick up this one. Yeah, we, have... they know where they spawn. Yeah, so it's not very matter area. of time. Hmm. Okay. Yep, ingredients, or the crops are all grown. Let's go check out on that. Get a boost from Mima. And, yeah, go get Opal and check the place out. Okay, I'm a bit surprised that we haven't gotten more missions from the board from the bounty board over there since there's room for six of them, but it's only goes up to four apparently. Okay. Harvest that and harvest that. Uh, let's let's go with those. And let's check the arcades. So I am pretty sure that we have enough money. But it's also it's always best to, to make absolutely sure that we have more than enough. We don't have any. Oh, we have one to register. Yep. It gives three speedy boys. Now then. Hmm. Oh, okay. Let's see. S normal 100 centimeters. Wait. Uh, wait. Did we lose? Okay, apparent. I thought we'd won this, but apparently we lost it. For oh no, no, no! Wait, I remember now. Uh, yeah, I I was thinking of the recent clip, but that was with the normal seahorses, I believe. This one is with the, the speed stirs. See, 110. Do we have one that can beat that? No. Okay, so there's no real yeah, need or there's no new. Yeah, no real need to go try that because we're, it's going to fail all the same. Okay. Now they're going to be putting in the dragon ones here from now on. Or you know, on S at least. Uh, let's just cheat a bit and use our dragon S V horses here and just completely obliterate. <laughs> Of course, putting the slowest in the last. Terrible acceleration on this one. Yeah, and just zo uh, <laughs> zoom right past into the thorns. I'm trying to keep my eye mostly on the speed bar, so I can't really keep a good eye on the hitboxes for the obstacles. That's it. And the slowest one lasts. For a good reason, but the other ones are so far behind. And only halfway. So, yeah, a bit cheaty, maybe. But oh well. Sixty-nine seconds, of course, and just one millisecond off from uh, seventy seconds. Uh. Okay. 
Okay. We stand no chance there. But we have enough. All the same now. More than plenty. Okay. We head to the workshop. Get an opal tube for the gun. And let's see. Would it be smarter to go for the cookie cutter sharks first? Let's see. Steel rope. Ice diamonds. Opal tube. Yep. More than enough. And, okay, it's, it's we here that we can buy fragments. A bit pricey to fur, but... Hmm. That could have been a lot worse. So, also with how well, relatively easy it is to get money at the, the seahorse races as well. Okay. Do we have to clear these in sets or something? For them to disappear and be replaced? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, let's check out the glacial area first. And yeah, we can go look for the spider crabs and cookie cutter sharks after. Just catch whatever we find along the way up. Okay. There's a bunch of fish in the poison green poison launcher. Okay. Modified with Cleonic Queen poison. Okay. So that's one we would be able to make normally. Okay. Uh, let's see. Presenting. Okay. Let's sort this by number of marine life. Oh. Hello there in chat. So Reese Monroe 7. <laughs> How are you doing today? Hello, welcome. Uh, let's see. Poor Beagle and Narwhal we need. That one, the telescope fish. Octopus and Atlantic Alaska Pollock. Are any of these that? Uh, let's see. Doing pretty well. What about you? Do doing pretty good as well. Uh, possibly at the start of a new heat wave or something, but at least I've got a fan going. Yeah, doing well on my as well. Has been a bit summery warm again, but not too bad. Yet. Okay. I'm not going to pick a fight with the narwhal or the shark if we run into it. We're just going to look at the entrance and hopefully. Hopefully get some progress towards the main story then. Uh, yeah, I've got a one and a half liter bottle at the ready as well. Yeah, I got a glass. And I do keep drink uh, plenty during the day. Yes. Okay, bunch of fish here that we haven't found yet, but those are probably deeper. It's a telescope and pollock. Okay. Yeah. Those are not these, okay? <clears throat> so, if I may ask, Reese Monroe, uh, what have you been up to today, perhaps? <laughs> Anything of interest? I'm not going to take that, but I am going to capture that. Here we go. Okay. Oop, harsh darts. Uh... Actually, I think I'll leave that. I'll just grab it, use it, and then... Oh, will you miss? <laughs> Let's see. Now I just woke up after a long nap. Okay. Not every day oh, has I... to be interesting and exciting. Yeah, calm good days are good. Okay. Miss. Oh well, that was the ammo. Now let's get the net gun back. Yes, no. Okay, I did see that. Yoink. Okay. Uh, not going to take the baseball because that's kind of dumb. Uh, not too dumb, but we want to be able to mine Topaz and Aquamarine that we're finding down here. Uh, speaking of. Yeah. Hello, Ice Diamonds. 
Just gotta wait for the haze to go away. Oh, I'm already. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. May I ask why does your model have an iPad? That's because I don't actually have space in front of me for the camera, so it's set at an angle. Or the, my webcam is set at a f about 45 degree angle, so it can't really see my right eye. So on the since my mu movement is mirrored by the model and such, it it's the uh, left. It looks like the left eye. So yeah, because it's otherwise it would freak the hell out often with just clo open and closing the eye constantly. So thought so might as well put an eye patch on it. <laughs> hey. I did not know this fact. I thought it was the first tech degree sense. Yeah, that as well, but I think it were I think I did tell you once. Or at least told some of it. And yeah, maybe at some point I'll be able to uh yeah set my stuff up better so that I can have it facing forwards. But the at this point the eye patch is going to stay. <laughs> that was not the answer I was expecting. Same here. I was expecting this answer to be that you are a pirate. <laughs> Volunteer. Okay. Yeah, Res, I, I, I also thought it was part of character lore. <laughs> uh, I've had, I have made some attempts at character lore, but... Uh, can't, you haven't really found any points to yeah, implement it or such. That's... Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Well, it is a pirate uh, by the war. So that one is correct, still. Yeah. Let's see. No need for that at the moment. But yeah, th this game is Dave the Diver, though <laughs> the category and such probably already made that obvious. It's, it's, it's a quite fun game. Uh, let's see, but I was like, what pirate dress is this nice? <laughs> Oop, yeah, it's a Greenland shark. Okay, gotta be careful with that. It's slow as all hell, but it still might hurt. It's still going to hurt a ton if it does hit us. Well, a pirate captain will dress nice. If they have the chance. I think those are the polar E things. Yeah, those are eel pouts. Or however you're supposed to say that. Okay, where are those ones that we are missing then? This this thing is really useful for keeping track of this, even if we can only open it underwater. Yeah, the the Pollock. Sounds like an insult. Actually, I think it's an insult as well. I mean, you mean uh, bollocks? Yeah, I believe calling someone a pollock is considered an insult in uh, yeah, British English, I believe. I will mean, have to ask uh, someone I know from there if that's true. Ah, I've it. never heard of it. Yeah, well, that also takes care of that. Well, if the shark wants to play, we need a breeding. We need another in the fish farm of these, anyways. Poison is going to keep nibbling away at it. I wonder how long it stays. Will it just stay on until it dies? Nope. Okay. Call that in. Call that in. Uh, uh, fade away. Okay. was a little seahorse there. Okay, apparently they don't always swim out in the open, and sometimes it seems that they need to be scared off from the this ground or something. There. Okay. Sniper rifle. No real need for that at the moment. Would have been nice to fight the shark, but I will. 
Oh, oh. From Rusi. Uh, oh, do I mind telling me what kind of game this is? It looks interesting. Uh, yeah. This game is Dave the Diver, which I guess counts as sort of a Metroidvania. Though a more aquatic one. Ba basically, what you you do with this, uh, or the goal with this is, well, you go dive, you go diving for fish, and in the evening with that fish, you run a restaurant. And it, it, it's a really good game. Like you can all, you can see by the number in the stream that's how long we've been busy with this, and I'm still enjoying it. It keeps popping up new stuff to do, or it keeps adding on new stuff. Uh, to layer things out a bit more. Not to make it complicated, but it does keep things fresh. Yes. Hmm. If it was a side game, for me, it was a short game, but no. It yeah, not definitely sure. not. <laughs> I, I thought we'd be done with this game in like eight streams, and here we are, ten extra done. However, this is a good long game. For this is game, they know it's long, to know how to make it work. Uh, where's the fish that you dive with? Uh, no moments. This narwhal is a well gnarly foe. Okay. Uh, where's the fish that you dive with? Uh, did they go into the inventory here? They get a ranking depending on how well of a catch they are. If, if they, if we, and yeah, if we kill them, they give less meat. If we catch them alive, we get more. Hmm. Did I miss a turn or something? Or does the second cave just spawn only sometimes? I, I, I completely missed that. I thought I had to do harpoons too, but there. Okay. Does mini games change depending on what sort of extra tip you for the harpoon you may have found on the water from certain chests? Like with this poison one, it is the circle. Other with other harpoons, it's just a button mashing or doing a specific combination. Or if they're just weakened enough, they'll just go immediately into the inventory. Uh, let's see. Is it this way, maybe? No, this, I think this is dead end. No? Okay, I haven't gone this way yet. Okay. The game also, or at least in the earlier areas, the game also randomizes the layout somewhat. So things aren't always the same when you go into the, uh, the, into the sea. The, the, the later you go, the less randomized it is. You know, in this area, it makes sense. All of this is frozen over, so there's no moving that. No interest in that. And yeah, with all the fish that you catch, you can make recipes to sell at the restaurant in the evening, uh, where you can hire staff to help cook, uh, ser cook and serve everything. Uh, there we go. Let's see. There must be a second switch somewhere inside. But the, strong, but the strong current is blocking access. What should I do? And yeah, there's also a main story going on. Oh, hello, it's the beluga. What are you doing here? It's dangerous here. Go back. Hmm. What? You want me to ride on your back? The beluga could swim against the current. Oh boy. Will it be okay? Okay, and there's also a... a is that... Okay, there's some sort of strap that he's grabbed onto. Maybe I should grab on here. Oops, wait. And off we go. Uh, there is an overarching story going on, but the, the game doesn't try to rush you or anything. Oh. And yeah, it, it every now and then the gameplay gets mixed up a bit to keep things a bit more fresh as well. Like with this, like <laughs> in this cave, you can move around with the beluga. Press the left stick down to destroy obstacles in your way. Okay. I should probably say this as well. Okay. This game is clearly made with a lot of passion, and 
Oh, thank you for the follow, Ressi. Thank you for the follow. Uh, so I'm going to need to focus a bit on this. We can't ram through those jellyfish. Okay. I'm pretty sure, technically speaking, we wouldn't be able to get through that bit because it would be a much stronger current in that area. Okay, okay. There, Wait. we are somewhat auto-scrolling. I don't think there's supposed to be with a headbutt with that head. It says that and bomb is actually soft. No, but the... Okay, hostile plant life. Uh, intelligent Those hostile plant clones. life. Those are not clones. Oh, yeah. The, see, and then, the damn it. We need to find another shrimp or something to eat there. Okay. Uh, if you recall correctly... Uh, okay, that was just dumb of me. The game is also pretty cheap, like it's not full price or anything. I think it was 25 euros about, 25, 30. Uh, hello. Uh, almost got off screen there. Okay. Go uh, back into the current. Okay, what is this? The day after tomorrow or something with these ice pillars just going up out of nowhere? Not too late on that. Okay, there. Yeah, this is on Steam indeed. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's on other platforms. Up there. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it, it, is, it is on Steam. Uh, not sure if it's on Epic. Maybe it's on Origin as well. Oh, is this a mommy jellyfish? Okay, well, boss fight. Phantom jellyfish. Okay, fight time. And I got the net gun with me. No, we didn't come to hunt small fish. Looks all riled up. I must first calm it down. Can't use a weapon in this state. Okay, so that doesn't even matter. Okay. Um, give me that. I'm guessing we're going to have to dodge its offspring until it gets annoyed enough to reveal a weak spot. Yep. Like that. As in uh, Origin? As in Ubisoft Origin? Uh, no, GOG, I meant. GOG. All right, that makes more sense. For Origin, uh, it's probably only Ubisoft games. Yep, yep. Okay, we get stunned if we ram the wall. Uh, wasn't it EA with Origin? And I think they renamed it recently to EA Play. Maybe? Okay, so I, don't think, I, I rarely hear about it to begin with. Yeah, because people just don't like using it. Okay. And off it goes. Okay. I, actually, I actually expected to lose that at a few points. <laughs> Phew, lucky me, it went away. Yep. But it left one of its tentacles, so we can make a snack out of that. Hmm? Okay, I was just say, is it the first boss we don't need that we don't kill and eat? <laughs> no. Nope. So I guess that was only half We didn't really need to kill him, we only took a pentagon. Yeah. The back door is open. Let's go through that. Okay, after we collect our dew. Wait, the back door is open. Oh no. Oh no, the back door! Yeah, we're not going into the back rooms. I'm pretty sure even those couldn't hold this amount of water. Already oh, right, back rooms. Oh, that must be the switch. Should I activate it? Probably should. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Since we're quite late into the game, this will be a minor spoiler, but I'll be honest with this. Uh, the, <clears throat> if you check on Steam, the last screenshot that they show uh, already spoils uh, a, a certain thing, so I doubt I'm not going to call it a hard spoiler or anything since well, the Steam store page shows it off. <laughs> or I, not I this, but. Uh, it's so you get it revealed rather early in the game, so it's not a hard spoiler that there is a civilization down here. I heard big machinery operating outside. Okay, the second gate open. The door is open there. Maybe it leads outside. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing the beluga is just going to follow us after. Yeah, sort of like Atlantis. Oh, I feel less heat than before. Maybe I can go down. Okay. So now we can go deeper. Hmm. Uh, I'm not see like Atlantis. I would say it's more like a mermaid city. Like it didn't sink. It was built underwater. I think one of the murals did depict a dis disaster akin to Atlantis or something, but. Uh, I'm, yeah, I, <laughs> I couldn't get too good of a look at those, but yeah, there's a, there's another aspect of this game that I really, really love, but you'll get to see that more when we get to the restaurants, which is just, which just also goes to show the amount of uh, effort and love that was put into this game, but I won't spoil that. For the moment. But I'm going to spoil this fish's day. Okay. We're going to be making snail fish escargot. Leon's favorite. <laughs> okay, that was a. Where are those yellow fish? I just realized, uh, I forgot to refill your cup there, Captain. Why don't we refill it with some uh, Dutch courage? I won't be needing that. Let's see. <laughs> Telescope fish, Alaska Pollock, Alaska Pollock. And I've already caught a few of the squids, so I think we should be good with those. Okay. Either way, let's continue on downwards. Just in case there's something hazardous, or there's of course going to be something hazardous down here. Fill up on oxygen, which also doubles as our health. Holy moly, are these ancient creatures? They must have been released from the melting glacial ice. I wonder if those are of any use to Bonsho for his sushi place. I will bring him some samples if I catch any of them. Oh, we specifically have a net gun to catch things, so... Oh. Your Awaptia Fildensis? Okay. Might be related to uh, Anomalocaris. And that be? The thing you mistook for Trilobite. Okay. Buckbean. Let's see. Buckbean. Okay, for a moment the game went to. Computer controls there. Ice harpoon points. Okay. Huh? What are those tad uh, tadpole-like creatures? Are they an engine species as well? What a cute bunch. What a rare opportunity. I should take a, fo a picture of them while I can. Yeah, as you go through the game, little side stuff like this is going to be unlocked. Let's see. Take a photo with all four at once. Okay. It said error something. Okay. But yeah, basically this game will always have stuff for you to do. Not to the point that it gets exhaustive or such, or overwhelming. But if you want to go look for stuff, there's always something to find. Yeah, they, they keep it in just right balance so far. Yeah, well paced. Yeah. Oh, hello. Is Extremely important for all games to have a well pace, especially the, like 
the longer game you make, the more important the way the pacing becomes. Yeah. And it's always important. Because if you go, if your game goes on for too long, are these these are rubies? Okay. If your game goes on too long, you run the risk of your players losing interest. Yeah. I think a break from game and return for it is a good, fine thing. But yeah. Ooh. It's. Hmm. We need to activate one more device for the door to open. Let's look for a cave that might have the third switch. Okay. Should we go for the shark that was nearby? I don't think it was a shark. Oh, hello. The heck are you? Oh, that, that, that was a shark. A shark predecessor, maybe? A pikai? Yes. Okay. If I run by it, it's a shark predecessor. Hmm. And this is a pain in the ass predecessor that's going in the net. Alan Pitheros. Okay. Another review. Okay. Picaya. Now let's take a <laughs> Picaya. Okay. <laughs> it sounds like a funny name. Yeah, there it is. It sounds fun to say. Okay. Oop. Wait, it just chucked that off? But, oh no, it's immune to poison. It is getting damaged. It... Okay, now I'm not sure what this is for. That might not be a short predecessor. It might be something else. I know some early shots have that kind of thin uh, tail, but... I don't like it when the spinning goes in this direction. Use the other hand. There we go. Oh, okay, we can't bring you in with the drone, but we can harvest you. Zenat Sensus meat. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that really might be a shock ancestor. Yeah, that is. Uh, Reese, so all the fish we catch will be used as ingredients. Uh, we can use them as ingredients. We don't have to use them up in the same day. So we have a big stockpile of fish. Uh, oh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, otherwise. One. Uh, yeah, we the fish we catch is for the sushi restaurant that we well, have upstairs. Yeah. Hello. Because he has been. There's one. Going. Uh, just this thing. I'm guessing this will be emerald. Oh dear. Oh yeah. It does lead me to question like some of the dishes might likely be illegal or and very unhealthy on technical level. Turban. <laughs> Torbanite. Mm. I think we've never read of that guessed. before. Yep. One of the weapons uh, needs that for upgrading, I think. Okay. okay. Was that an egg down there? No, it's some sort of coral. No, it looks a bit like eggs, so... Hmm. Uh, uh, no, I wanted to... Oh, well. I feel like we, uh, we want to read some of the information on these. Uh, yep. I actually wonder how Boncho is going to react. <laughs> uh, Boncho <laughs> has been one for strong reactions, but Dr. Bacon is going to probably flip his lid. <laughs> but, yeah, do... yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah. Oh, there is the <laughs> last place. Let's see, I'd love to see the restaurant. How long will it take to get out of the water? Uh, there's a few m magic mirrors nearby that we can use to fast travel. Uh, but yeah, this is probably as far as we can go at the moment, so we'll return after this. Swum, what are you doing here? Well, I came all the way here as the heat under the glacial area has been reduced. I can't fully trust humans like you. So I, the hero of the sea people who defeated the giant Godon, came here to activate the thing myself. Yeah, I defeated Jason Brack. <laughs> Showed up at the end to claim credit. But... I need your help because the inside is quite a mess now. Oh yeah? How messy? You will see for yourself. Wait, we can go in right away? Okay, uh, let me grab this. Hmm. We're almost full on our inventory. So I think we're going to leave 
yeah, we're, I'm, I say, I say, we leave that bit for the next dive. For each day, you can dive two times, and then you have to go to the restaurants. Oh, hello. Correction, he means times, uh, not tons. Hello, big boy. Oh, that's a... What is that? I... I... I think I've seen pictures of it there, but I did not know they were that big. Oh, what it is, I it's dinner. I don't know names. Ugh. Come on. Yeah, the, the lower oh, health yeah. of the fish is, the easier those things, those quick time bits become. Drape pan up. Okay. That one we're full. So sort by weight. Uh, let's toss out a haddock. Yes. Yes, uh, all right, uh, Rissy. See you later, hopefully. Okay. Uh, black vinegar. Oh well. Oh dear. Man is left right. That will give us some time to head back. I don't know if you use killing how much fish or a very big relative to a trial about or what. Okay, we can I'll check its card in a sec. Yeah, with the amount of health it has from getting pierced like six times or so, it definitely has armor. Okay, I saw a mirror down here somewhere or on the other side. I'm gonna refill my uh, glass. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was the mirror. That was the thing I was asking about. I thought it was at the egg. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, oh, hello. The heck? Um, uh, oh, that's a big boy. Which means we're getting out of here. With this much loot? Yes. Uh, have we been. Oh, have, did we have, have we had less loot? I would say maybe go and kill it, but. No, not when we so slow down. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep you for the race. And yep, new depth interaction. Okay, some new stuff. Bunch of new, or bunch of more meat. Let's see. Waptia Philandesis. Filandes, Wing Mandus. Picaya. Ellen. 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 Terras. Xena. Uh, Xena. Canthus. And. Drepanaspis? Napis? Hmm. Oh. Udo? Yeah, new picture. What are these tadpoles? Yeah. I think I've seen a picture of them on a book. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I remember now. Erin... Erin... Uh, uh, How did you take this picture? Where in the world could you take this kind of picture? Mm. Our readers may think we're using fake pictures. <gasps> So, if so, it's all on you, Dave. Yeah. It's for you. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Okay, good 900 I'm words from that. Back and I heard your attempts at pronouncing name. Yeah. Uh, this can little bastard. Can see if, what kind of info I have on them? First off, though... Okay, discipline, beads. Okay. There we go. Uh, wait. Let's see. Okay, Wapia Fieldensis, an ancient arthropod that lived during the mid uh, Carbian, uh, no, Cambrian, Cambrian period. Its head is protected by a thick layer and it can grow up to, seven, uh, to about 7 centimeters. Pikaya, an ancient fish that resembles a contemporary eel. It is called the ancestor of the vertebrates. Okay. Then the Alaniteras, uh, an ancient fish featuring a small tail and side stripes. It is known to grow up to, six, uh, to a size of 15 centimeters. Quingmendus, uh, a Okay, I, I've always Coelacanth. said this wrong. Coelacanth, like ancient fish that lived you know, 400 million years ago. 
They are known to be the ancestor of fish species that came up to the land from the sea. Okay. Then we have Repana, uh, Repanas is, uh, is characterized, characterized by its single hair, a single pair of swimming fins and heavily armored ray-like body and lack of jaws. It is thought to grow up to 30 centimeters. Okay. Uh, wait, for this... Let me find one that's way bigger than that. And, yeah. Oh, oh, I saw something. We, let's read the orders and we show a warning sign. I think one of them is a Donkelostius and a sea scorpion. Xenacanthus, an ancient fish species that is believed to have inhabited many parts of the world. It has elongated fins and is characterized by its sharp venom spines on the back of its head. Okay, so that's why it was immune to poison. And yeah, this little thing, an ancient jawless fish. The name means around a shield. A bony plate covers its head and the front half of its body. It is thought to be the predecessor of armored fish. Okay. I'm guessing it's this thing you're <laughs> worried about. Doclosius. Uncle Donkle. Uh, biggest of the armored fish. Basically, a bear trap for a mob. Okay. Uh, I mean, you may know there. which one I mean. There, starfish. Yeah, yeah, this is where we noticed this. Okay. Still need to get rid of eight of those. Okay, these are new. Uh, yeah, don't kill on this. <laughs> don't kill lost this. You can just call it Uncle Donkel for easier pronunciation if you want. <laughs> Okay. And that's all we can turn in at the moment. Okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm guessing that waterproof bag is going to increase our carry capacity or something. I just realized. If that thing is this game in this game, um, hmm. uh, we may need bigger firepower. Then it's a good thing that we need only eight more topaz for the death rifle. Yeah, I hope it's strong enough to play his quick skull. So for a moment, let's grab that. I'm not going to say this. It has no teeth. It's quote unquote teeth is massive boat plating. Okay, so sort of like a beak of sorts. Yeah, like, like, do you remember the Jace Bond villain in, uh, with the Iron Thief? Jo what was his name? Job? Jaws. Yeah, he's, yeah, him. That is basically him. Okay. So, go for the special. Let this play out. Okay, I'm going to let these play out once every stream, but if we get repeats, I'm going to start skipping them. All right. Like, we might play some of them at least once per episode. Yeah, that if, if we start getting doubles of those animations, I am going to skip them. Yeah, the doubles okay. we can skip. Who dumps perfectly fine pots here? Uh, if I had the net gun, that would have been a golden opportunity to catch a bunch of fish there. Okay. Wait, uh, we saw a big I... shark down there. Or was it a shark at all? So pass. At least a shark predecessor. Yeah, I guess we see, we know yep. next time we go Speaking there. Speaking of shark. Yep. Okay. Counter attack. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Send you in. Okay. 
Hopefully they'll get up some uh, something for the fish farm. Okay. Uh, Rosie, did we get in a row from the ancient ones? I actually forgot sure. to check. <laughs> but we'll see next time we go to the fish farm. Oh, I want to give a, a very posh title, Ancient Ones. He's kind of correct in a way. Hmm. Near you, or you. Just enough. Yep. Okay, you. The poison stopped on you. Okay. Yeah, I did say the the poison doesn't stay. Okay, it it just lasted a lot longer. Um, with the fight that we had before, or it, yeah, we're not a lot long, but okay. Anyways, put this thing down, and five kilos of. Take you out. Yeah, in this way, What's I would it? say the cog box is good. For them, you can uh, prune things in advance to the oh, surface. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, whatever gets put in that stay gets recovered anyways. Indeed. So in case something did happen, it will not be as massive loss. Yeah. Five point five. Not really. Yeah, not enough space to put you away in the box. Okay. Let's just continue down, try and find some more topaz. Let's try and see if we can find either of the fish that we lack at the moment, or lack a breeding pair of. Okay. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Let's see. Did we get a breeding uh, breeding pairs? Yeah. Not the shallows, glacial zone. Yeah. You should be able to check breeding pair of the other things uh, in here. Like the prehistoric ones. Okay, so we did not get uh, we did not get an extra fish from the Antarctic octopus. So we'll have to go catch some more of those. Oh dear. Hmm. What? Sticky gun. Sticky bomb. Gun. Hmm. Rifle is better, so I'm just tearing it apart. No. And I just realized I don't know if I sent the rest of the staff out to get new ingredients or not. Nope. I think you did? There. I'm here. There we go. I'm actually Please just going realize. to harvest you, I think, and save the drone for something big, big, for something yeah, bigger. Is your last? We were going to use to buy a new fish farm. All right, we probably need to expand uh, that. Okay. Yes, yeah, since we got a new area. Okay, I, I do. Th I think we should still get the the row, but I hope yeah, we so. need to buy the new oh, area. Nope, oh, that's a different one. No, you're not getting away. You. Yeah, that one I don't. Re 
recognized. What the mean, hell I... are you? Yeah, I, I noticed a... People in... I thought it was asset to shark on a... Fish that you mistake for a shark? Polkatus. Okay, that's the name. I think... I would have recognized him if it was with a look like it looked like a shark and an anvil on its back. It looked but like it had a horn of sorts. It looked like a handle. Rubies. There they there. Yeah, it does seem yeah, that rich. we just get one extra root, one extra stone, which eats uh, har with the first harvest. So, yeah, I guess the eco gemstone charm is useful if you really need a specific one. But yeah, other than that, you could leave it behind. Yeah, that, that, that one's buff is rather disappointing. There is the big one. Oh. No, and um, it's armored, of course. That's not a shark. That was indeed not a shark. Yeah, that's the that's the dum dum or whatever it was called again. Donkeloski tears. Yeah. Again, no, you price, can call it Uncle Donkel. Yep, there's two of those poison things. Okay. Wait, that. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Yeah. Do you see it's yours? Okay, let me... Those fa fang as a mob is made to crush through other armored bone fish. Nom. <laughs> okay, that would have been hilarious if you just ate the other one there. Oh, good God! I don't have time to play with that, yeah, damn it. Okay, apparently I did have a bit of time, but... <laughs> okay, where do I need to hit you to your tail? Okay. Going yeah, that makes sense, this considering the head is armored. Yeah. I need to go find oxygen. It looks like a shark. A very weird shark. Okay, is that an oxygen uh, bottle? No, but it is that thing. It's ammo. I'll take it. Oxygen, oxygen. How many of those blasted things are there? It's like the third here. Luckily, all of these are dumb. And the oxygen in the clams? Yep. Okay, they're retreating. Over here. There. Okay. All right. Now we can. Hmm. Now I'll, I'll stick with the gun. Okay. Don't get your attention, but I do want the attention of the bigger one. Because that's going to bring up a lot of money if we put that into the dish. Yeah. A dunkel will be something. Yeah, there you are. I okay. mean, he took it for a shock earlier. It may be more dangerous Ooh. than a shark. Okay, it does about 100 damage with each charge. So, yeah, let's not mess with it then. Especially if it is agile enough to make that kind of corners. Hmm. 
Or we can just try and hit and run it. Get some oxygen somewhere, land a hit or two, bail out to heal. Yeah, like but here. can we make it a lot of money if we are able to get it? Okay. I'm going to save just... the rest of this thing for an escape. Okay. Yep, there you are. Okay, it's back. Also, is a weakness. Ooh. Yeah, it's back should be sorted for it's around its head and neck where the armor is. Okay, I did not expect that to be the last hit. Yep. Send okay. in the bull thing! Oh, I would love to see Bonsha's face or the Cobra's face when that comes up. Okay. Oh, the his own big thing and what the bloody hell! Yeah, with the bosses <laughs> at least, he only brought up part of them. <laughs> now we're just bringing the entire damn thing up. Okay. Let's get a few more fish and then head top sites for the restaurants. Nope, nope. straight up catch. Okay. This nine kilo. Brrr. I still consider that number suspicious. Well, in the bag you go. Yep, or not. This will go in the bag, though. Okay. Tina Candace. It is another easy Okay. Uh, something that's basically like a big uh, bulldog fish. Actually, now that we're here, we can at least take a look inside. Since we now have an actual good weapon with us. Decent, at least. Are you ready to enter, human? Yep. Let's see. What is the mess in here, then? Oh! Okay, there's an air bubble. Uh, there's no water up here. This is near the roots of the divine tree. They are sucking, the, uh, they are sucking up the ground heat. As the tree has mutated, it seems to have absorbed everything, leaving the soil around it completely dry. I need to open the inner waterway to fill the water again. But I can't reach the contraption up there as it is not in the water. Human, you can go up there and activate the contraption on my signal. You want me to go up there? Of course, you can't go up there. Alright, wait a moment. Okay, so we're going to have a bit on land here. Okay. Here you can switch between Dave and Swam. Choose the character that fits the situation to clear the path. <laughs> Another little change up, huh? <laughs> Swam has a hard okay. system. Okay. <laughs> but he has those things, flippers, so I guess there's a reason why he walks so funny. Yeah. Not, uh, I remember as a kid that those things are not easy to walk around with. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to squeeze through this, Dave. Or maybe not. Are you going to have to chase after him? or? Oh, hello. Okay, debris. Um. That's concerning. Yeah. That's coming loose, then more stuff is coming loose somewhere. Wait, he should be able to swim me through that if it's so slow you can throw boulders at him. Up there. Just <laughs> waddle <laughs> down like a Goomba. Checkpoints. 
Oh yeah, uh, uh, I have had Gucci Goomba recommended on my YouTube list again. Gaijin Goomba? No, Gaijin Goomba. Thank you. Yeah. Apparently he has made up all called... <laughs> something Orkunaka? Something like that, yeah. Uh... Are you... I would, I, would, I would have watched a little preview of it. It was something else, but I'm damn curious what madness he had brought uh, to the world. Okay. Come up, there we go. Okay. That, oh, oh. Did I do two damage? Okay. Uh, best not to sit in that whilst it's going to. Okay. Who <laughs> oh, decide this? Oh, we can go down here. Is anything? No. Okay. And okay, damn. The hell the, the hearts are shared. Okay, I'm going to guess that the game is generous enough that if we do run out of hearts, that we'll respawn at a checkpoint with full of the hearts. Okay. Now, you're going to have to run pretty hard here, Dave. Or waddle as fast as you can, Wait, at least. There's a gap. There's a yep. gap over there. Come on. Just in time. Okay. That opens that up. Okay, how much further can we go here? Up to there. Okay, but this looks like it's the end of the line on this. Or close to it, at least. I do, I do think we are getting closer towards the end of the game as well. Unless there's a yeah, whole new extra thing that's going to be needed to work with the... Uh, <clears throat> with the control room. Yeah. So... I'm... Okay. This is a pure guess. I repeat. Pure guess. That we possibly finish this game at episode 20 or 22. That's up. Now we hit this. That's going to bring that up. Okay. And I was saying that because it has oh. all the surprise stuff. <laughs> this time you folks did not jump scare me. Hello there, the Siren Ivy. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I'm Hillian. Uh, over there we have my co-host, Rakir. And welcome and thank you for the raid. Uh, what were you playing? Uh, oh, I see yeah. who brought you over. Pizza brought you over, huh? Yeah, or rather thank to say, you... you... all for the raid. <laughs> you hello, brought pizza, pizza so lover. to say? Okay, slash <laughs> S-O. <laughs> and let's see the Siren... Yep, almost mistyped that. Ivy. Okay, let's see. What were you playing? All uh, oh, right, that's still broken. I, I don't get why that is still not working. Uh, let's see. Little nightmares too, huh? Let's see. This is the person called Anne. And me and Mark were talking about. Okay. Hey, uh, welcome aboard. Welcome along, and everyone who came. Well, welcome aboard, everyone who came along as well. <laughs> uh, how did you? How did the stream go? I, oh, well, okay. Apparently, the chatty program responds to the. <laughs> my Xbox controller. But yeah, how did things go? Uh, what do you think of the game? And feel free to ask anything about me or the game here <laughs> or the gear. So if he will answer, it's up to well, him. Okay. Well, it depends on the questions and requests or whatever they, <laughs> they bring up. Chain to pull, and yeah, this game is Dave the Diver. We're pretty late into this game. We've passed uh, 
Let's see, this is number 18, so 17. To, uh, yeah, we've passed 35 hours now. And still just loving the game. This is probably going to be one of my new favorite games of all time. Okay. Oh, there's a lever here. There you are, just pull that lever. There's another lever down here. I will pull this one myself. Send me a signal when you're ready, human. Okay. I'm guessing we just have to press two buttons at once. Oh, no, they're just doing it outright. Okay. Now is that? Yep, that is the last of those. No, that's... Uh, you might want to put your goggles back on, Dave. <laughs> Oh, the water began to flow from the top. Good, it looked like an important device, and it's filling the place with water. You pull this without knowing what it does? I trust my gut feeling, you know. The water is filling up. I must suit up. Yeah, there seems to be a path inside. Let's go in there. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if we'll do more cooperation bits like that. Probably not, since most of these little side things have been one-shots. Let's see. Fortunately, this path is filled with water. The place is packed with divine tree branches. Is there something stimulating the tree? This level of growth is not normal. I need to enter the control room to figure out what's, uh, what's what. We move to the inner switch, human. Follow me. From this, okay, from this point you can control Dave, and, both Dave and Swam simultaneously. Swam has the ability to open the tube worm path and penetrate through sea currents by using dash. Help Dave reach the destination safely. Okay, so just a continuation, but they're both... <laughs> yep, we control them both at the same time. Okay. Yeah, sort of like a... <clears throat> Brothers, a tale of two sons. Only it's 2D. Okay. Give me a sec. Uh, let's see. So how about... This, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so how are y'all? How is the game going? Pretty well, I'd say. Uh, again, we've been... Oh, well. we've, we're in oh, 30 hours in on this game and still, <laughs> still just enjoying it. And yeah, besides just stupid heat, things are going well here. Yeah, we haven't had super heat yet. We have warm, but not heat wave. But those would be good to so used to a mild to rainy summer or all that. It can be so warm again. That warm again is definitely able to be a surprise for the bodily systems. Yeah. Okay, go against the flow here, up and around, and then we can press both of these. Yep. Okay. It's always smart to have a security system that has requires a minimum of two people. That way some uh, lone burglar can't go through. Okay. Dave, you pull this. You. Yep. Don't squish him. He might be an annoying ass, but we still need him. Okay. Luckily, this place is clear of predators. Hmm. Okay. We talked about this. Don't jinx it. Okay. Oh, hello. Do we need to figure out which ones are the real ones? Or do we need to push them both? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. Luckily, we are not limited by oxygen in this area. That's true. 
So that's uh, some very stiff wait, chain. What? Um, um. What? He's holding the chain with the rook on top. Yeah, like I said, that's a very stiff chain. Uh, anyways, uh, how are you doing, Pizza? I don't know when I would let it with some pizza. Oh, wait, you meant. Uh, you meant pizza lover. <laughs> yeah. We actually had pizza for dinner uh, because we had leftover from yesterday. I might order some pizza someday soon. <laughs> huh, matching my rhythm underwater, humans aren't as hopeless as they seem. All right, let's proceed through the door ahead and flip the switch. Okay, and that's, that was a neat little bit. Uh, oh, hello there. Uh, that, what is that creature? Look at its snout, it's scary. I've seen it before in the Ancient Creature Codex. It's called a Helicoprion, Helico if my memory is correct. But it went ex extinct 200 million years ago. Maybe it's been trapped in ice and has now been released as the ice melts in this region. Okay. If that thing spins, I'm going to laugh. Have to play it does spin! <laughs> Good gods! You should not be able to do that in real life. Scientists still curious over how even was positioned in his mouth. Oops, we can spot it. What should we do, Swam? Swam? So. He took up so fast, he didn't even leave. How'd you get up there? Human, this place looks really important. Since that, uh, since that is a deep sea, uh, an ancient deep sea creature, it won't sense bright light. I will hit a divine tree fruit here to blind it, and you can lure the creature. Okay, so you're actually being useful. Hmm. Sounds like a reasonable tactic, but all you do is just hide, it seems. Anyway, that saw blade looks extremely dangerous. I should either hide somewhere or use the divine tree fruit as Suwam suggested. Okay, what is with that mural in the background? Okay, okay that, that deals at. Wait, is it? It's stuck. It's, it's stuck. Even through Stone Chapter on the boat? Yep. Uh. Okay, we can't actually hide, it looks like. Okay, I can glad that he skipped out Megalodon this time for the more unique ancient sea monsters. Oh wait, we can actually move you. Oh, that actually does stun you for a bit. And there we go. Okay. Well, luckily we can just restart. Uh, 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 um, Il. What? It damaged his stone block. Yeah, it. 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 Just short with that. Okay, not close enough. Yep. It is hurting. Yep. Yep. Phase two. Phase two. Yep. Miss. Or rather, it hits. I was trying to get it to ram into that block. Yeah, it, it just, it's even trying to. And then it angle just is slightly happy. 
Uh, oxygen, ox anywhere oxygen here? It doesn't look like there's actually oxygen here. Okay. Well, let's do a spoon. It has to be somewhere. Steps. Wait, do a spoon down to oh, there. oxygen. Or the clam. Yeah, the clam has oxygen. There we go. Okay. Not close enough. Okay. There. Oh dear God. There we go, just in time. Yep. Yep. And there we go. <laughs> Another boss done. I actually wanted to pull out the, your gun, but <laughs> the harpoon will do. <laughs> Praise my tech. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, strategical brain. It brought us victory. If you say so. Now, the monster is gone. We can access the door. Let's go in, human. Okay. Uh, no photo of this. Okay. Investigate the helicopter. All right. We're gonna investigate it. Yeah, of course, it's saw blade. And it's tail. Okay. Now then. Here's the last switch. It's larger than the one in the second room. Help me, Swan. You can't do anything without me, human. So that's the one we've been saving their tail of since the very start. Of, no, not the very start, but since practically the start of the game. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing this I'm guessing this region was designed specifically to be used by t two people at once. So I'm guessing you might need two people to operate the control room down there as well. Okay. And the temperature has dropped even further and Okay. It looks like the c control room has been completely overgrown, or at least covered the door. Good, I activated the last switch. The door to the control room should be open now. And the zone should. Because it's not. I must get out through the exit and see what's going on outside. Okay, shortcut out. Okay. Okay, whatever happens next, we have a lot for good dishes at Bancho's. Yes, this could be interesting. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I thought we would need to get a new suit to deal with the heat, but no. Would have been too early to get another new one as well, I'd say. After just getting the cold resistant suits. But we are probably going to need something to get in through the vines here. The divine vines. Huh? The control room door is still closed. The door is stuck by the divine uh, tree roots growing from the inside. Oh, oh, motherfucker, you again! I knew you would be found here. John Watson, how did you follow me here? <laughs> Made of eco-friendly materials and titanium, there's no place the Deccan 9 cannot reach. More like, how the fuck did you get here past the fucking sea village? Did, did you blast your way through the rocks? By the way, <sighs> read what he said there. I, I, saw a passage in the, I saw a passage in a strange village, so I just broke through it. <sighs> Mass of idiots. You don't mind destroying this beautiful uh, primordial place, do you? I can't believe this. You are a German in this world and I'm about to sterilize you. What a hypocrite. I saw what your sea blue did in secret. So it was you. That is why the description of the suspect perfectly matches you. So you admit that you are a fucking hypocrite. 
I'm suddenly very curious about how it was portrayed in the description. <laughs> Probably manatee. More reason that I can't let you go free. I, John Watson of Sea Blue, the Guardians of the Sea, bullshit, will rid the sea of impurity. Yep, yeah, by ridding it of all life. Uh, just get sunk, you idiots. How tenacious. We must finish our business with this one. Uh, how am I supposed to neutralize that sturdy submarine? Can we pull the same trick as before? Yep, nope, he's actually rised up on that. Yep. Oh, actually, they do stop before they go boom. So you always no, they do just explode. It. Just, you, you need to lure them and make them stop near him, then they explode. It, it's a little bit, a little bit trickier version. Mm, I don't think that's it. Well, yeah, won't you stop the by him and did damage him? No, I'm not seeing numbers pop up. He is immune to his own oh. damage. Yeah, we can't hurt him. <laughs> You're running like a rat. You can't evade this one. The Kurosame of death. Are you just going... Uh, hello? Uh... <laughs> I was just saying something is gonna beat him up, but I did not expect that. Well, he's just plain dead. Thronosaurus. Uh, okay, uh... What is that? An ancient creature of the Plesiosaurus family? Maybe a Thronosaurus? Not the time to be analyzing what it might be, Dave. Unbelievable. A monster of that size hidden in the deep sea glacier? Fighting such a monster would be ridiculous, but... If it has recently come out of the ice, it may still be sluggish and weak. Besides, there is no way we can get to the control room without confronting it. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, hello. <laughs> Isn't that the missile launch that came off of John Watson's submarine? Mm. What if I can shoot the missiles? Yeah, let's... <laughs> let's do that. I don't think our little pea shooter is going to do much against this thing. It... Lovely. I, 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 was, I was thinking... I was planning to say maybe something a different boss will come in and fight him or they don't don't go on or something, but Yeah. Chronosaurus. Okay, it just Okay, it tries to eat it. Smart motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, dodge your attack. Now get that thing back. It needs quite a, some time to lock on. Yep, what are you up to? You're going for that trick again, aren't you? Okay then, well, eat this. Uh, <laughs> okay, fire breathing as well now. What? what? Get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, no, we can still hurt it. Let me just carry this away. Ow. Ow. There we go again. Ew. Oh, that got close. There. Okay, come on, grab it. Got a hit as well there. No, it's it's shorting out. Yeah. Okay, uh, how are we supposed to dodge that? Just try and get above it? But how do we identify that it's going for that and not the suction attack? Yep. Alright. Okay, we can back paddle like this. Okay. 
Are you going to go straight into an attack? But, okay, that's not that kind of attack I was thinking of, but okay. He's a dead Kronos. Yes, I got a nickname the of him Kronos, since that's the damn god it's named after. Up the, straight up, yoink the, what the, up, mother. Okay. Some time for the batteries. Go dry. Horrible timing. Okay, luckily, I can solve that. Oh, wait, is this. No, there's a different connection point. Okay, um, USB A connection. Uh, I'll have to stick that one back to where it came from. Uh, I do have a cape. Is this a one? Yes, that is one. Okay, luckily I have. I believe this is from a headset I had. It's a long cable with a USB A connection. I just need to unwrap it. Then I can connect, and we should just be able to play without annoying power issues. Okay, way too long for this, but oh well. Come on, go in. There we go. Okay, uh, it does need to be powered, of course. So there, oh. And we have connection. Okay, and so did that make connection with us. How do we dodge this? No, it, it looks like we need to be above it when it does that. Hmm. I, I'm guessing if it's, oh, it. if it's moving downwards... Or was it moving its head up or down with that? It started from down, then moved it up. Okay, then we'll need to see what it does when it does the suction attack. Pooped uh, by the snoot. The snoot is big as us. Okay, yeah, okay. If, it's, if it breeds in the rocks immediately, it's going for this attack. Ow. Okay, I... I thought it was going to fire that in a specific pattern, but no. It is aiming at us fully. I'll take that up. Okay, um... Any other oxygen in the area? Okay, yeah, this is going to be another loss then. Oh well. That's the big spire. But out of air. Okay. Okay, we know how to identify it now and how to dodge and, it. Yeah, we know how to dodge, identify, and hopefully to, how to avoid becoming part of its snack. I don't want this. Was it successfully eating a good young? No, it, but it bit the submarine and uh, and damaged it but i'm pretty sure he's drowning in there because he wasn't wearing a suit if he wasn't just outright crushed by the depths if he survived that then blood the heck how okay going to need to dodge here I will admit, he was... Damn, damn, damn it, I dodged into it. thing in for him. He's got the tail like, end uh, up in there. Oh, yeah, you know great. he's a damn hypocrite and all. So kind of fit the end of that nature. Did him in. Yeah. yeah. Got, got close. Back off, back off, go. <laughs> swim, 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 swim. Okay, yep. No, it's going for the rocks. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we do have to keep in mind a bit that the, the rocks also drop as they get flung. Okay. Um, get the launcher. I'd almost say that this thing might be a final boss of sorts, but I think we're the final boss is uh, actually going to be more related to the sea people. And not just some random uh, terror from the deep. Danger close, danger close, go! Now, come on, crap. Okay, still got it. Okay. Yeah, they do fall off. Okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Chronosaurus used Tail Whip, it was very effective. Okay, smile for a camera. Yep. <laughs> okay, perfect timing on that. Okay. Phew, it will be a nightmare if one of those monsters reaches land. Yep. I've got to hurry to the Divine you know, Tree control room and restore the device. Yep, yep, hello. Yep. <laughs> hello, Dr. Bacon. Hmm? What is this drone? Hey, Dave. Sorry I'm late. I was making an explorer drone to aid you as the glacial area looks dangerous, and it has just been completed. Just as we got through it. Dr. Bacon, I didn't know the signal could reach this deep. It's the pride and joy of my lab. This drone not only communicates, but also... There's many activities on the water. All thanks to Duff here. It's good to see you, Dave. Such a large glacial uh, ice... Uh, okay, there's something missing here. In this depth, it's as uh, if it was touched by Gabriella and her cold fingers. Gabriella. Only if I could soothe her loneliness. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like the roots are blocking the door. The drone can cut the roots using a laser cutter. Oh, isn't that handy? I foresaw your hardship and added the feature. Oh, lucky. Well, why don't you activate the laser cutter? Okay. Did you did not mention what just happened here. The vine tree is extremely hard, unlike ordinary trees. You will take two days to get it done. Okay. Do your thing until I'm done. I will let you know when I'm done. Okay. Well. Well, if we are close to the end of the game, then we still have some time to go. And maybe the next tree might be the last one. Thyroid gland. And the tongue. Okay. Uh, there should be a mirror somewhere around here. Eat his tongue? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Is a delicacy. Uh, yeah, let's just head straight to the boat. Mm. How many mm. bosses do we defeat in one day? Three. <laughs> oh, rather, uh, uh, if the question is, how many bosses do we defeat in one stream? <laughs> yeah. Holy. Okay, Starry Skates meet. Let's see, Poor Beagle Shark Row. A bunch of the new ones. Okay, Dunk okay, we got some <laughs> Lotus. Yeah, you're. We've got Dunkle. Yeah. yeah, you can just call it Dunkle. <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> Dunkle Door. Oh, sorry, him, but I got not to do this to you. Nothing personal. Okay, let's head to the farm. Hmm. 
Don't do it. <laughs> what do you think? Need right? Yeah, this is the maximum size that the thing that the rice paddy can be, I believe. Or at least the achievement said it that this is the maximum size. Okay. Can we add better nutrients to this? Hmm. We didn't get to see uh, we didn't get told anything about uh and we didn't get told anything about uh yep yeah. we have fertilizer but that's for this here All right i've also been forgetting to use those let's see growth fertilizer accelerates plant growth uh, nutrient composts let's take that oh hello oh okay that will cover everything okay that's useful that should help the land heal quicker. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Out of carrots. Okay. Hmm. Cherry tomatoes. Okay, yeah, that's refilling this now. And I oh oh. Okay, the cable pulled something down from my desk. Okay, so we can add that. Okay, I didn't know that you could compost this as well. That probably could have helped us quite a lot with getting more rice. Okay. Let's check the fish farm. Hmm. I had to say, those pre Oh yeah, we need to buy that uh, new zone. Yeah. Open zone, hydrothermal. Uh, expand. And there's still two more. Hmm. Okay, bunch of that. Bunch of that. Okay, we should end up with a few more breeding pairs from all of that. For now, let's go to the restaurant. And blow this jackass's mind. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. With, uh, with whose victory will this long-standing conflict end? Pancho, are you ready? Yes. Pastro? Suena pronto. Let's get it started. Excellent. Then let's begin Challenge the Chef now. You know what would be an absolute insult? to uh, the challenges with this. Having Maki cook instead. I'm pretty sure she could kick their ass as well. And <laughs> she's an apprentice. <laughs> okay. Prepare the squids. What moves are you to make? Oh, other way. Land. Prepare the shrimp. Okay. I I don't see much of interest in eating shrimp myself. I must say. Okay, add the ingredients to this. It's tasty. It's tasty. Uh oh. Okay, a bit of cooking DDR. Now what is the what? Oh, you oh, triggers. Oh. Okay, that. Yeah, they really should have added better to this. Yeah, this this is going. This might. Yeah, I think we're going to fail on that. Yeah, they really should give you a moment to 
need to tell you just the, how to do the things. Pour the ink squid into the... F uh, rub. Okay, at least have a signifier that the direction is changing. Yeah, we're, we're, I think we're going to lose this. And I guess we'll see what happens then. I think we're just going to reset to the start. Okay, have the pasta noodles. Okay, I know that squid ink is used with some pastas. Yeah, we spoke about this uh, low stream mood too. Yeah. And here we go. Okay, either this is just going going to be just uh, either this is going to be a close win or a loss. Yeah, first time we had on this it was a close win by one point. And still won! By how much? Okay, he did the worst of all so far as our opponents. We, we could have won that with oh. a few more losses as well. Okay, yeah. we thought we were to lose, but no, we actually crushed him. Okay. <laughs> Mamma mia, I, I can't believe it. I, Pastro Antonio Giovanni, defeated in a pasta contest? I can't accept the judge's call. This show is lame and not worth my time. Ori Bailey. <laughs> Great squid, just piss off. <laughs> that guy is hot tempered. His cabaron and I was fantastic though. It was unbelievable. I liked the combination of salty guaniciale and soft yolk sauce. It was heavenly. <laughs> then why didn't he win, Vincent? Because you, you can't bribe him. Miss Lois, do you know why squid ink is used in dishes? <laughs> what? Isn't that for the color? Why bother making the color like that though? Again, showing that she is a critic of worthless capacity. Mm. Not really, Miss Lois. The visual is only a part of the reason. Squid ink is reminiscent of the taste net of nature's seawater. Mm. When I tasted Banjo's pasta, I saw the dark and quiet sea. Mm. Black pasta and nocturnal sea creatures dotting the black sea. Mm. I felt like diving into the dark, quiet sea naked at night. Please don't. Why naked, though? <laughs> Tastiness is a very subjective experience, after all. Even for a critic like myself, it is, it's never easy to be objective. I like the taste of both dishes equally. However, I gave more points to Bancho for his near-perfect representation of the theme in every nook and cranny of, of his dish. The reasoning is so... No, it, you're, the reasoning seems absurd because you're a hack. You know who is the biggest sponsor of your program, don't you? Me? Okay, yeah, so it's the sponsor, not the owner. I have it wrong. I do know. Hmm. Nolan Crawford, the chairman of the BNC group, who is your father. He is also my sensei. What? You know my father personally? How is that possible? Okay, that's a twist. Oh, hello. When I was young, I worked at your father's restaurant in New York. Hmm. Back then, I was nothing but an inexperienced apprentice cook. I was lucky to be hired by your father. Give me a second to grab my water. My first job was cooking omelets. Hmm. <clears throat> Although egg is a pretty common ingredient, it is one of the hardest to master. It's very hard to time the perfect moment to flip the omelets in a frying pan. I was struggling to figure that out. And... Messing it up. 
Someone tapped my shoulder with a smile on his face. It was your father, Lowland Crawford. He kindly taught me, taught me when and how to better flip the egg. He, the restaurant owner, didn't mind spending his precious time teaching a new hire. Looks like the apple fall, fell far from the tree and ran, rolled all the way down a hill into a ravine. His passion and creativity towards uh, foods were truly inspirational. He was always looking for new tastes and experimented with new recipes. He failed more times than I can remember, but he would succeed in the end. I see. He is now an entrep entrepreneur of a large corporation, but I believe his passion would never change. I can feel it. Miss Lois, why don't you try Bonjo's pasta yourself? Oh. Well, if you insist. <laughs> Just taste it, you old hag. Okay, and now she sees that she can't just judge something on its looks alone. I admit I was prejudiced. This pasta is incredible. It's not just the visual, it carries the natural flavor of each ingredient. And I criticize this dish without even trying it. I'm not worthy to be a restaurant critic. Don't blame yourself, we just have a different philosophy about foods. That and someone being a lot more willing to be underhanded. Pancho? I know it's a rather abrupt offer, but would you be interested in opening a branch? A branch? Yes, another bunch of sushi. Clearly there are many people who don't understand your food philosophy. But if they taste your food at least once, they, they will wake up to a new dimension of food. I want them to have that mind-blowing opportunity. But your current restaurant is too small. It's big enough for me. The restaurant is already widely known. People will visit your place in droves sooner or later. You need to be prepared to maintain the quality of the food you serve. But if he opens a branch, it will be harder for him to control the food quality. He has staff members who sincerely follow his philosophy, right? They can be the manager of the branch. Manager, you say? Don't worry, trust your staff. They know what to do to, li uh, to live up to the reputation you built. Mm. Is this going to open up a new section to the restaurant? Trust your staff and let more people taste your food. Mm. But I don't have a management system and funds to open a branch yet. <laughs> that I can help you with. <laughs> I know how to operate a franchise. I'm well educa educated in that matter by my father. I have the skills and money needed. Oh. Why? And yeah. <laughs> and I won't ask anything in return. Consider this your reward for winning the contest. And pay back for and your more restitution for ruining our reputation ages ago. Hmm. Well I'm not sure if this is right. Bancho Sushi without me. Bancho, I think you should give it a try. This will be a good chance for the staff to grow further. Um if that's what everyone thinks, I have no other choice. Plus, it will open you up for more experimentation. Okay, I will open a branch. What am I supposed to do, though? Order wooden planks or something? <laughs> Don't worry about the construction. PNC Company will take care of it. <laughs> You'll just name the manager and decide what to serve with what ingredients, Pancho. Well, it's about time for the night shift. The construction will be completed by tomorrow morning. What? <laughs> that's, that's fast work. <laughs> He must be kidding. Anyway, I realized I was closed-minded about new approaches to foods. I apologize for my poor review of your dish in the past. From now on, I will help you spread your food far and wide. I will come to you again when the branch is ready for business. Okay. Hmm. So... 
I wonder how that is going to do, uh, go. We'll have to sacrifice some of our staff, or sacrifice, we'll have to put some of our staff to that. Uh, this means we actually have a use for the extra good cooks we have. Yep. Okay. For now, though, let's have a look here. Weapon shop. And that's the stream timer. Let's see. Perfect timing. Uh, I'm glad you got a Shinzo's heart there. Yeah. No, you did forget. She also ruined her own reputation by being so... Yeah. Yeah. Sour. Okay, we can call... Yeah, we can call Lois now as well. Let's just hope she won't be too busy <laughs> chasing after Kent. Let's see. Heli Helicoprion. It's a fish that lived in the Permian period of the Paleozoic era. Scientists speculate that the fish hunted cephalopods using a teeth to gr that grow in a helical form. Okay, and a Chronosaurus. A plesiosaur named after the Greek mythological character Kronos. It is speculated to have been the top predator of the seas during the Crete Cretaceous period and has a body length of over 10 meters. And there's still one more. Yeah, that and. There's another shark we've been missing, is he? Wait. Yeah, that, that's the oh, Greenland shark, no? Uh, it's, wait. Uh, no, we that's don't not have the shark. The, no, the Greenland is higher. That's, a... that's the Greenland. I think the only thing is not a shark, but. That might be a coelacanth. And it looks like it's a photo fish instead of a capture fish. The photo you know, from the camera in the corner. Okay. And yeah, this dumb thing. A carnivorous fish uh, thought, to, thought to inhabit the coastal waters of North America in the past. Males have pr prominent fin spines that curve uh, anteriorly over the head. Okay. Hmm. It's all called to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this will be the first, maybe yeah, maybe not the first, but typically we end stream on the boat. But it looks like this time it's going to be ended here. And let's see, phantom jelly, fish jelly, roasted heliopron tail, and steamed chronosaurus tongue. And each of these costs only one, so let's at least do this. Okay. Oh, Artisan's Flame. Research 30 new dishes. Okay. And get these as well. There we go. All right. I'm guessing we won't get any more visitors looking to challenge us. Okay. Save. And then save and go to title. And yeah, I... I I do think we are getting to the end of the ma of maybe I'm getting I'm getting the feeling that we're coming towards the end of the main story and Boncho's story, but I get yeah. I suspect that we'll still be able to continue afterwards if we want to. Yeah, no, again, I just think like either twin episode twenty or twenty two will be done. And that'll okay. be counting in on the days, the dives, and the story dialogue. Yeah. Okay, let's change the screen share so we can go find someone to raid. There we go. And let's see. Xena Fo Voya. Uh, I think I forgot how to see Xena, I will just say. They're playing Final Fantasy XIV. So is I'm Nice, actually. Okay, are they? Okay, they're not playing together. Isaiah Rosier is playing Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. Jimmy McGinger is still playing Super Mario Sunshine. Grim the Wolf is playing Neo. Shubbers the Moon Seal is playing Cooking Simulator. And then we have Smoops on the Nonsense with XCOM 2. Viking Blonde is just chatting at the moment, but it looks the title says that they'll be continuing with Rain World. They've been busy with that for the last few months. Uh, Halloween is playing. Haunting Browns? Okay. Uh, any of those, or should we look for someone new to raid? I think we should take one of those we have here. Okay. Um, 
Should we raid Viking Blonde? We haven't raided them in a long time, I think. Hey, what? Let's do that. <laughs> okay, pirates raiding Vikings. Ahem. Uh, I think someone else just raided them. And then we'll make it a we'll make it a two pronged attack. Okay. Uh, before we start up that though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going from top to bottom here from what I can see. Thank you, Pizza Lover, uh, and <clears throat> and thank you, the Siren Ivy for the raids. <laughs> and let's see, scrolling up. Yeah, Reese Monroe. Thank you for. You know, Thank you for watching as well, and uh, sorry you had to step out and miss the things. Uh, but yeah, there's always the VOD that they can see later. I might I might send the link you know, a link to the VOD in a whisper to them. Uh, let me actually uh, let me actually copy their name. Uh, the, the miscellaneous copy name, and I'll just look that up and whisper them the VOD if they're interested. There we go. Okay, and uh, yeah, I see you. I see you lurking there, Tatum. <laughs> okay, and as always, thank you, Drakir. You will as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching. And yeah, tomorrow we'll have a day off. <laughs> like we've streamed for most days in this week. Monday, Tuesday. Was did we stream Tuesday? I think yes, we did. Then Wednesday as well. And now Thursday as well, so yeah, tomorrow is going to be a free day, and then we'll have the weekend stuff to do. Oh yeah, <sighs> like, I don't mind us streaming every day, but I do feel like it's good to at least have one, one free day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, with that... Let's start the raids. No block. Not that I expect them to be, to block that. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. And watch out for undead seagulls and random appearing ancient monsters from the yeah. depths of the sea. Yeah, John Watson is so freaking dead. He better be.